All right, y'all. Today is the 7th of January. We are one weekend. I like how, you know, uh, January started on a Sunday. Like, you know, New Year's Day was on a Sunday this year. So everything is just very easy to track. But, um, yeah, like, you know, we a weekend. And um, honestly speaking, um, everything's been cool so far. Just, you know, quick update. Um, just starting off with, like, the fast and all that. The fast has been pretty easy. As you see, I'm about to break mines now. But um, the fast has been pretty easy um, as it goes on. I think, you know, the key to fasting is just keeping yourself occupied. Like, genuinely occupied, too. Like, you got to actually be busy. Like, for example, I'll say this. Um, I don't even have to be fasting for this, too. When I do YouTube videos, like, like say I'm going to make a day, like, just a day for shooting content. I don't even be thinking about food at the time. So, I don't even be really, like, pressed about eating nothing. Because I'm trying to get, like, my content in. And that's just me personally. So, um, but I don't know. You know, it was hard, like, the first couple of days. But, um, I don't know. I'm starting to get a little adjusted to it. But it's all in how busy you keep yourself. I will say that. Um, so, that's been cool. I did miss Bible study on Thursday. And I was pretty bummed out about that. So, I'm going to try to go this week. Um, I did go to church today. I actually went to my dad's church. Kicked it with him a little bit. He had to sing today, so was, you know, with him, and then uh, we just talked. I finally gave him his Christmas letter for Christmas. I had uh, wrote everybody a personal letter, just you know, just like you know, a little love letter in a way, you know, giving everybody their flowers because you know, I try, I'm trying to every Christmas. I'm trying to do something unique for now on. Uh, of course, you could buy somebody something. But I'm trying to do the things that you know, it's going to have a long lasting impact. You know, of course, you could buy somebody something. I could buy you something right now from the store. Like, you know, they ain't nothing. But um, I'm trying to, you know, make most Christmas and birthdays and all that count from now on. But, um, and, you know, I don't live with my father, nor do I see him that often. So I wanted to do something special for him. I might make a third baby. But um, I don't know if I mentioned this last time, but I'm keeping a journal. So I done made a mess. I'm keeping a journal on just everything. Like I said, I'm going to update y'all weekly. Um, for reasons out of my control, the times I release these updates won't be until after January. So, I mean, obviously it's going to show, but, uh, for anybody who's watching this in future tense, y'all realize, and y'all ask why I, I dropped these videos in March, April, or May, can't really say right now, but the good thing about it is y'all know by the time y'all, y'all know by the time y'all see these videos are uploaded. But so I, it's not like a live stream where I can't I can say it right now. I'm just not going to still regardless. But y'all y'all know why I'm not, you know, releasing these videos until the time I'm releasing them. Anywho, uh, in my journal entries, I said, you know, eliminating the things that um, I usually do has given me a lot of time to do other things. Yeah, that's true. You know, I've been reading a lot more. I got this book. I would run and grab it. I'm gonna run and grab it. Hold on. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I didn't mean to leave y'all. All right. Uh, so, you know, this is like my little journal entry book. And basically, I'm going to go to a clean page. But, um, because y'all not about to clown me in my handwriting. I only write for me to see. But, uh, look. So, basically, you can get these at CVS. And, uh, it's like a little gold tracker. Um, you write the things you're grateful for. You write three things you're grateful for. And then, you know, it's also like part of fitness. So, you write, you know, what you're going to do positive for your body today down here <clears throat> one thing you appreciate about your body so this is really good for self-love and in fact i'm gonna keep this in my phone self-love video um and they'll say like you know today's workout you write that down and you write down below the minutes you do uh the things you're going to eat like you know nourishment you put in your body and uh reflect today's mood so you just talk about your mood you keep it real and then over here you know well they got a quote they got a quote on every page but uh, right here, I just manifest. I just put words to paper and I manifest, like, you know, the things that I want to have happen for me this year, this week, even today. Um, and then in this little box, it says, this inspires me. I'm going to put this up here just in case I want to screenshot it. All right. Can y'all see? All right. 
three, two, one. Hopefully you screenshotted it. All right, so yeah, that's that. That's one book I journal in. Um, and then 177 Mental Toughness, Secrets of the World Class. This is a really good book by Steve. I'm not gonna say his last name, but uh, Mr. Steve, my man right here. This is really good. This is a, this is a book that I'll say is good for perception. I got this when I was in the, uh, uh, you know, insurance business, the life insurance business. And I read this from a business partner of mine that gave it to me. But uh, this is really good for altering how you look at things, how you approach things from the mindset of entrepreneurs versus the mindset of just ordinary people. And you don't need to be an entrepreneur to do this. This is just good for the brain. This is like meant for like business people, but you don't have to own a business or be trying to run a business. This is just a good book to have to alter your mind, you know, kind of on some glass half full type thinking, you know. This is like for like people who are trying to live a life where you're problem solving while everybody else is complaining. So this is a really good book for that. I think in the next update, I'll probably like, you know, talk about a little bit more about the book. Um, so I've been reading that. Um, but I've had that book for a while. Um, so I'm gonna just reread it and then I'll like go in, I'll like highlight things that uh that stuck out to me um what else praying three times a day and uh i've been working on my face care i'm gonna drop the face routine soon but i've been working on my face care um i've had a lot more time in meditation i meditate twice a day so i meditate before i go to sleep and i also meditate when i first wake up in the morning that's part of my morning and night routines at the moment uh by the way self-care day vlog and that's gonna come soon it's gonna come real soon y'all um watching joe osteen I've been doing that, like I said before. Uh, I'll usually do that while I'm eating a meal or something. And, and he has been good for my mental health. I have been a lot more peaceful and positive lately because of it. Um, and I've even been mindful of the things that, you like, uh, like, you know, just watching the things I say and my road rage has calmed down. Not ready to lie. Um, oh my gosh. I will, I'm going to keep it real with y'all where it's been getting hard because this wasn't an easy week for me. I got a brand new PS5 I just got for Christmas. I can't even play it to what, February? And then by that point, school would have started back uh, back then. School starts on the 22nd, so, and, you know, this great New Year's New Me Challenge does come with sacrifice. Um, I'm gonna be busy this semester, bro. I can't even, I can't even really get into that just yet, but I'm gonna be busy this semester. Freak. Um, I did go out once this week. But it was for my friend's birthday. You know, it was not going to miss. Come on, I'm not going to miss that. I'm not going out just to be going out, though. Just wasting my time. But, um, you know, I did go out. Um, you know, it was a party. It was a tattoo party. I still don't got any tattoos at this moment. But um, it was a tattoo party. You know, they had, like, you know, alcohol. It was smoking, drinking. You would think the clothes I had, you would have thought I was smoking with them. But honestly, I ain't touched the blunt. I ain't touched no blunt. Um, a couple of the guests was like, Jalen, you ain't take your shot yet? Go take a shot. Go, go, go have a shot. Come sign up with us. Nah, I was, uh, it was, uh, I think it was a couple people in there were sober. And I mean, a few people was having a drink, they ain't drink to get drunk, but I ain't had nothing. I ain't touched no alcohol, nothing like that. And me personally, me being a guy who I don't really care that much about alcohol or weed in the first place, I guess it's not hard. But I mean, I see everybody else is having fun. So I mean, it was it tempting? I'm gonna be honest, not really. So like I said, I, me personally, this is just Jalen speaking. I can go to a function and be perfectly fine without any influence. But, you know, I, I do. I'm not going to lie. I do understand why people, you know, smoke and drink. It does cut the edge for like a party. But I don't know. I just never really needed that stuff to have fun ever. You know, like I haven't even touched alcohol till I got to college. And I've always been like, you can ask anybody that. But um, honestly, that stuff never made or break me. It doesn't change me at all. So, I mean, that's me personally, but that concludes the uh, the update. And I'll make another one on the 14th of January. But like I said, because of circumstances out of my control that I couldn't even prepare for originally, I might not release it until a few months from January. But it doesn't change the spirit of this, you know, like these little entries and stuff. So, uh, Good luck next week uh, for this, you know, second week. Stay strong, and I'll see you on the week, y'all. Peace.